Welcome to East Tennessee Pinball. Today I'm out hunting for pinballs. I got uh, two different destinations going to. The first one was listed on Facebook, and I almost didn't even read the description, but it was, it was a flipping card, and I was like, that's a pretty cool game. And uh, it was listed for $750. I was like, oh, that's not quite a good enough deal for me to get interested generally. But then I actually read the ad, and uh, so the guy's dad passed away. You know, it's that tip, com, no, I shouldn't say typical, but the common Continue story. Continue on kids, US 321 North for yeah. five miles. Kids inherit it, and uh, they don't want it. But uh, his dad was a real pinhead, apparently. So it's, it has a brand new BG Resto back glass. It has not a new play field, but a replacement play field. I'm not sure if they did a play field swap or if they just literally took the play field out, put it in a different game. But anyway, and the cabinet looks like it's been maybe repainted too. So uh, looks like a super nice game. So I'm pretty interested in that. And then also another gal calls me, separate, completely separate deal, but it was like, they're both about 45 minutes away, but they're about 10 minutes apart from each other. And the second one, she called me and uh, so her dad passed away also. I'm not, I'm guessing it was a little bit longer. Uh, but anyway, he has 12 pinball machines and about, or she inherited 12 pinball machines and about 12 or 15 arcade machines. And so I don't know what the, really the mix is. She said there's a, uh, Pac-Man and she was Gallagher. I was pretty sure it was Galaga or maybe Galaxian, but uh, uh, she said uh, Space Invaders and uh, uh, Alley Cat's uh, Shuffleboard. She said Alley Cat's Bowler, but I'm pretty sure it's Alley Cat's Shuffleboard. So anyway, it's a, on the order of 25 machines or something like that. So I'm going to go down there and check that out. So that could be like a, a bonanza potentially. So anyway, in fact, I'm going there first, the, the place with a bunch. Uh, I don't have a trailer or anything, so I'm just going to see if I can make a deal on that. And if so, then I'll probably go down there tomorrow with a trailer or two, maybe take a couple loads. Uh, if that works out, I don't know. But for sure, I'm probably going to come home with a flip a card either way. Uh, I'm going there after I go to the first place. So I'll see y'all on the way back home and see what, see what I end up with. I just made my first stop, and uh, so I went to the gal's house, and I thought the pinballs were at the first place, but it was all the arcade machines were in the first place. Uh, they were, gosh, there was about, there wasn't a dozen. There were like, there were a dozen like stand-up arcades and cocktails, and then there was a, a, there were a bunch of slot machines, not, well, there was like one slot machine, and there were some poker machines, uh, there were, there was a claw, there was a, a couple pool tables, there was like, there was a foosball table. I counted like 30 cabinets total, 32 maybe. Uh, there were there, there was a ton of stuff in there. Uh, there was an old cigarette vending machine that she wants to get. I mean, there's just like, there's an old jukebox. Yeah, there's over 30 items. Uh, most of them, the arcades look pretty rough. Like they hadn't been, I didn't plug anything in. I asked her if they worked. She said, well, I think this one over here worked. Uh, I think that's probably about the extent of it. One or two of them might work. Uh, I'm guessing most of them probably don't. So I am wouldn't be real interested in those unless I, I'd probably, the only reason I'd buy those is to just take them to the auction and flip them at the auction. Uh, and they're, it's a lot of stuff to move. It's a lot of, it's a lot of effort and they're not worth a lot. Uh, I don't, I don't think most of those titles would bring a whole lot in auction. So, uh, I don't know. So, but I am following her to a storage unit where the pinball machines are at. So hopefully, I'm hoping they're in nicer shape or better titles than the arcade machine. So I didn't see anything that really excited me with the arcades. I mean, there was a there was a Pac-Man stand up, but it looked pretty rough. I mean, I'd say at the auction it might bring 250 bucks or something. And I don't know. I didn't plug it in. Maybe it works, but I I bet it doesn't. Uh, so anyway. I've got about a 10 minute drive following her to see the uh, pinball machines. All right, so I'm driving back home. I've got one pinball machine in the back, so I, I did buy that uh, flipper card. It wasn't quite as nice as what I thought it was gonna be, but I didn't haggle. I just, you know, I, I told the guy I wanted to buy it, so I bought it. Uh, I've been happier, $100 less, but you know, it wasn't, wasn't you know, whatever. Uh, 
it was it was a good deal. I'm not complaining about the deal, other than it's not. I want to get a great deal, otherwise I don't want to buy it too, generally. But it was a good deal. I'm not saying it wasn't a good deal. It was a good deal. Just wasn't a great deal. Uh, so the other one, so the second place I went to, well, well, second of the three. So the first lady I met with, I saw the pinball or the arcade machines, a whole bunch of them, kind of trashed, uh, all kinds of games. Uh, and then we went to see the pinball machine. So she had told me there was a dozen and there kind of were a dozen, but half of them were bingos. And the other half were pretty trashed out. Uh, I say pretty trashed out, I'd say like very trashed out. Uh, but I made her an offer, kind of a lowball offer, uh, and she accepted it. So I'm planning to go back tomorrow with a trailer and uh, maybe two trailers. And maybe I got a buddy of mine's going to help me, uh, Jesse. I think Jesse's going to help me. He may, we maybe bring both my pickups and two trailers. And even with that, we'll probably need two trips. So I think it's probably four trailer loads of stuff if we, if we get everything. Uh, there's a ton of stuff. I don't even know where I want to put it because there's I absolutely don't have enough room in the shop. Uh, I put a little bit in my garage at home. I may rent a place. Uh, my next door neighbor, at not at home, but at work, he has a bunch of garage space. He's offered to let me put some stuff in there. So I may see if I could uh, uh, lease that out from him for a month or so. Uh, probably a lot of the arcade stuff. I'll, I'll probably just take the next auction, at least a bunch of it anyway. A bunch of this stuff is pretty junky. I mean, it. I'm, I'm assuming most of it doesn't work. Uh, looks like it hasn't worked in a long, long time. <coughs> but anyway, so tomorrow's going to be a back-breaking day hauling pins and uh, arcade machines. I don't think I'm going to have to move the uh, bingos. I'm going to do my best not to. I've got, I, geez, the pinball machines, the bingos, they're all in a trailer. A uh, Not a like a... Not a movie trailer, but a, like a cargo bin uh, and a metal metal box, you know. And uh, anyway, so it, they're packed in so tight, and they're all on their legs. <coughs> I had to crawl underneath, find a tiny little hole. If I'd have been 10 pounds heavier, I would not have been able to stand up. There's two spots in there I can stand up at. In the very back, there was a Space Invaders pinball machine. She kept telling me there's space invader. I couldn't even see it because I opened the door and you couldn't see the, to the back of it. So I crawled like ring core style, you know, uh, elbows and kneecaps all the way to the back of it. I found a little place to pop up and yeah, the space invaders has no uh, paint on the play field. I mean, it has some, but like the center third of the play field is completely bare. So, you know, I don't know what that's worth. Not a whole lot though. I mean, there's people that'll buy a game like that and just you know, it's player's condition and the habit. Uh, I don't know if there's an overlay for that game. I don't think there's a hard top. But, you know, it's still worth something. Uh, but anyway, I, I I priced it based on not being worth a whole lot because, you know, it's not worth a whole lot. Uh, but it's worth something. So, anyway, those six bingo machines are in the way also. So, to get those other six that I want out of there... We, invariably those bingo machines are going to have to move and there's also a jukebox in there and something else I couldn't even tell what it was because it was facing away from me a big heavy thing I don't I mean it might have been another jukebox but it didn't look like it it, it was just, it was just packed in so tight so uh, there was a hot tips right by the door which was kind of cool but the back glass was pretty trashed on it so you know it, it really hurts the value and the play field wasn't great there was a strikes and spares that I couldn't really see the back glass on it but the play field was a little bit worn like a lot of crocodiling but i didn't see any wear marks in it there was a matahari i couldn't really see it but it kind of looked the same i didn't see wear marks as far as i could see but i couldn't see much because i couldn't even get to it you know so i'm just like throwing out a number based on assuming it's pretty crappy because what what i could see was very crappy and it was the same guy that owned these that owned the arcade machines which were i could see and they were trash i shouldn't say trash they were pretty rough uh so, I, you know, again, I made a low offer and uh, she accepted and, uh, but, you know, we haven't traded money yet. So tomorrow I'm planning to come out here and uh, break my back and move all this stuff. So it's going to be a whole day of, of fun. I've got to check the weather and I've got to figure out where I'm going to put these things. I don't know. So I'm hoping I can put them next door. If not, then I'm going to be on the phone trying to find a... Uh, 
some kind of storage facility that will do a short-term rental, you know, that has a place open that I can move into tomorrow. So we'll see. Anyway, hope you liked the video. Cheers. So here's a little video of this game. It's not like the rubbers are a little, little tired, I'd say. The play field isn't super clean, uh, but it's not. It's pretty good for this vintage, I would say. Uh, the targets, the whole thing's a little bit dirty. The targets a little dirty. They'd clean up, you know. The the pop bumper probably got probably new caps, probably original or maybe not original bases, but not super new bases. Does have new posts, new inlane guides, I'd say. So it's it's been gone through. It plays pretty well too. I would say that cabinet's been painted. I wouldn't say it's been stenciled. I think. It's almost like somebody held up a, a ruler up against or a flight straight edge and it's been free it's been painted by brush I'd say uh, pretty well done I mean there are some errors like that there are some smudges but uh you know it's 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 a lot better than most I guess that's what I'd say the head looks pretty decent again a little smudge there you know you can tell it's not a stencil uh, it was taped. You see where it bled under the tape there in a couple places. Uh, but generally pretty, pretty nice. Uh, this door has been spray painted, I think. It actually doesn't look too bad. I think the legs have been spray painted too. It's silver. I spray painted these a lot, but I, I think I like the Rust-Oleum better than the silver spray paint. The silver spray paint on the legs just kind of looks, I don't know. It looks a little campy or something. I don't know. Does, I don't really care for that. I may respray those, just spray paint them uh, the Rust Oleum silver, you know, the hammered silver. Uh, but anyway, wasn't the best deal I've ever got for sure, but it wasn't a bad deal. Uh, the game plays pretty well, like I said, and uh, it's all LED'd. Uh, I'm, the plastics are pretty, pretty sorry. I may see, see if Steve's got the plastics for this. When Steve has plastics for a game like this, they're usually only like 50 or 60 bucks, uh, which is, I'm talking about the PBR. Uh, these things are, yeah, they're all there, but there's like, there's no color left at all. I mean, they're just brown, which I'm guessing this guy probably, when he was alive, he probably knew about the pinball resource because he's got schematics in there. Unless they're the original, he would, the only place to get them is from Steve. So he's probably been talking to Steve, you know. Uh, my guess is all the parts he's put on this game, he probably talked to the pinball resource when he was, when he was working on this game. So, anyway, I was talking to his dad, his dad, his, his dad sounded like a pretty cool guy. He added several pinball machines, was his, when he retired, he started working on pinball machines, he had several of them, he got this game, fixed it all up, and, you know, he got old and passed on, you know, it's gonna happen to all of us. All right, so it's the next day. I'm uh, headed to Sweetwater. I've got a six by 12 U-Haul trailer behind my truck. And I've got Jesse driving Jane's minivan. I've got another six by 12 trailer behind that. And we are headed to pick up as many pinball and arcade machines as we can fit in these two vehicles and the two trailers. So I'm guessing, I don't know, geez, 25 or 30 machines maybe I don't know something like that so we'll see how many we can fit on here and uh, potentially make another trip tomorrow that's we only have time for one trip because there's a pinball uh, tournament tonight that's about all the time we got so uh, we gotta make the tournament you know, gotta have, man's gotta have priority so you know anyway so uh, I'll take some picks once we get there once we get some things loaded up and uh, we'll see you in a little bit so Jesse and I are about halfway through loading up uh, this is one of the bingos we moved out of the way. This is a strikes and spares. You can see the play field. There's a big house mouse underneath there on the play field. Uh, MPU's missing. The back glass is like, I don't know, okay. Uh, so here's that Matahari. It doesn't look too awful bad. Some striations of paint missing. You know, it needs a full workup for sure. A lot of the MPU's on these games are missing. And then in the very back, back there, there's just Space Invaders. If you see that white on the play field, that's an area of no paint. So we got to move several bingos to get to it. And, you know, 
if anybody's looking for a jukebox, I think this guy would probably be happy to sell you a jukebox and I, uh, some kind of cooler back there, like drink cooler maybe, or I don't know what that, maybe a drink cooler and then a window unit on top of it. I don't know. It's hard to even see. And uh, we got a couple in the truck already and a Miss Pac-Man having trouble getting the head off. The fingers stri were stripped, so we're going to just take it back at like that. We're going to throw it in the back. And when we're done with this, then we're going to uh, go to her place and look at the arcades. All right, so we got the six pinball machines loaded up in Jesse's trailer behind Jane's minivan, and we're had stopped for lunch, had Mexican lunch, and we're heading over to the gal's house. I think it's maybe her dad's former house. Anyway, we're gonna meet her there, and we're gonna load up a bunch of arcade machines. So, we've got another 22 minutes to go, and uh, see how much stuff we can fit. So we're almost back to the shop. Uh, ended up getting eight arcade machines and I basically I'd paid her for ten and there was really only eight I wanted a lot of the games she had were pretty much parted out like the monitors were missing and the harness and one of the boards were missing and the, 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 the cabinets themselves were pretty rough so I loaded up eight and I'd like I said I already paid for ten I didn't want to ask for more money back so uh, just basically, I said hey, she had a bunch of metal beer signs, so I, I got a bunch of metal beer signs, and she threw in some some back glasses also, which was pretty cool. So uh, pretty happy with it overall. I think arcade games I got, I probably I don't know, I'd probably go mostly just take them to the auction. I might, I don't know. She said one of them worked. I, I don't know. I didn't plug any of them in. So, I, and the ones that I looked at, they all had obvious issues, like boards missing, and you know. The rats were I've been through through most of them, so uh, yeah, they're pretty rough. So, but she did say one's working as a boxing game. I wasn't familiar with that. I don't remember the name off the top of my head. So, anyway, I'll probably plug that in when I get back. Uh, so, I've got another 10 minutes to drive, and uh, we'll get to unload everything. So, more more moving, be fun. Well, it's next day. Jesse and I got back kind of late last night. It wasn't late, but it's like it seemed like it was late. We got back about got everything on a little about five o'clock. I didn't video anything. We threw some groceries down our neck and went to a pinball tournament. So it's like a really long day. So anyway, I'll walk you all through with everything we, we picked up. So I showed you that the container that had all those bingos that we had to move out of the There was a couple of play fields. I told her, you know, I asked her if she had any interest in it. She's like, well, just take one of them. So I picked this one up. It's kind of, I don't know. It's all right. Got some cool art. Uh, I think you cleaned it up. Put some fresh, clean white rubbers. It could pop. Uh, it's got all these little nested light lamp holders. And, you know, it's got some lamps on the back. So you just hook up a six volt supply to it. Uh, it could light up, hang on the wall, be pretty cool. Uh, so that's the first thing we got. Got all these signs and tins. This Cumberland Bell Bonds. I guess it was her, her dad's business uh kind of a cool sign a pretty heavy metal i don't know if that's porcelain or paint i don't know anyway uh kind of got a cool graphic a whole bunch of beer signs i don't you know they're just i don't know about, about 10 of them here i don't know what i'll do with those if anybody's looking for one come see me and a bunch of various back glasses a lot of them are bingos some of them are poker draw pokers that's some arcade. I don't recognize it. I don't. Uh, there's a cut. There's a bonanza. There's another bonanza in here. That's a poker. There's the other bonanza. Uh, Tahiti. It's kind of a cool back glass. There's a plastic poker one. Yeah, a centipede marquee. Uh, so that's it. That's all the small stuff. The rest of the stuff is put in another building. The uh, the stuff, all the pinball machines and the arcades, I'll, I'll head over there. So here's everything else we picked up. There's 
six pinball machines and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight arcades if you include the Kramer, the crane is an arcade. Uh, so there's Strikes and Spares, Matahari, Space Invaders, Mr. Miss Pac-Man, uh, Hot Tip, and a Card Whiz. And uh, they're all kind of rough. Uh, the Space Invaders and the Pac-Man are the worst of them. The play field is pretty rough on that one. I guess you saw these yesterday, or about five minutes ago. <laughs> and... Uh, this crane, I don't know, the, the piece, this piece here, I found it laying around there, I threw it in there. Oh, and there's a Roy Clark record in there, so that's, that's worth at least, hell, who knows? It's kind of beat up. I kind of like Roy Clark. Uh, a Pac-Man that doesn't work. I don't, actually, I don't know if we plugged in the Pac-Man. I have not plugged in the Pac-Man, so I don't know that it doesn't work. I don't think it works. Doesn't look like it works. It might work. Who knows? Centipede. I haven't plugged this one in either. I don't know if it's got a plug. I don't see a plug. Probably doesn't have a plug. Actually, there's a wire. It's folded over in there. So I have to get in there and see if, uh, see what so see what's going on. So I went ahead and plugged in the uh, Ring King. This one this one works. I can't. It's locked, so I can't coin it up. I don't know if you can drill it out or go into the back or something. Uh, I think that's the only one that works, but I haven't plugged in all of them. I haven't plugged in that or that. Uh, I have tried plugging these. Like this one, this is a Donkey Kong cocktail. Not, I don't think they've made a lot of these. I've never seen one of them. The monitor's gone. The chassis is gone. It's got the boards. It's got the power supply. Uh, just... It needs a monitoring chassis and that board it might work it might not uh, <laughs> anybody looking for one let me know the cabinet's kind of rough real dirty got some rust on it you know it clean up uh, a couple of these I just plugged this one in this one these have monitors and I think I don't remember which one of these one of these if I un like when I unplug it See, the monitor on there is probably good. It just, uh, either the board's not booting up or heck, maybe the board's not even in there. I don't know. I haven't gone through them very much. Uh, again, this one may be locked. I'm not sure. Yep, it's locked. So I can't get in there. Uh, this Pac-Man. Oops. Uh, oh, this is rough in this side of here. Uh, looks like the board's missing. It does have a monitor. Not much else. Got a transformer. A couple of transformers. Got the transformer, isolation transformer. That's about it. Anyway, uh, these arcades are kind of rough. Uh, this one works, like I said, and uh, I need to get power to these two. This one, I can, it's got a cord. I just I, I got to get an extension cord over here so I can reach to it. So I'm, I'm, I think I'll do that right now. I'll go get an extension cord and maybe get a drill so I can, this one I think is just, yeah, I just need to get a drill or a hammer so I can get the back off of it. And uh, we'll plug these two in and see what they're going to do. So I got in a couple of these games. Uh, so this is Pac-Man. Not a whole lot in here. Board's gone. Uh, it's got the transformers. I don't think I see a power supply. Monitors there. Uh, and chassis is, yeah, that's there's the chassis. Uh, so, yep, that's there. The centipede is kind of the same story. Actually, no chassis. So there's a monitor. There is the power supply, transformer, no boards, no chassis. Uh, this arch rival, so this one's not working, but I think this one's really close. I plugged it in, and when I unplug the monitor, it, you get the screen collapse. Actually, it's plugged in right now, and everything's in here, and it, it's moderately clean. And this one was sitting up front in their in the garage right next to this one, like they were both playing both of these. Uh, the board looks relatively clean. Everything looks kind of moderately well taken care of, you know. So, this one, I'm gonna, I don't really work.
work on our case, but I, I know I have to ch check these switching power supplies because I know they're they're kind of cheapy and they go bad a lot. So I may plug and unplug the this board, and uh, maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe it'll just be a bad power supply. I only got at least one of the voltage there. I can't really see what this says. Uh, LED one, LED two. That's plus 12 and minus 12. So that would be like for the sound and stuff. So anyway, that thing's making the five volts. So I get, I'll get my multimeter over here and I'll see if, that, if I've got five volts coming off that board. Well, excellent news. I just checked the five volts on the switching power supply and it is not, there is no five volts on that. So uh, I guess I checked to see if there's 110 coming into it. I guess I could do that real quick. Let me do well, super good news. So there is 110 coming into the power supply and it's not making a five volt. So that's a bad power supply. And those are like 20 bucks. So it may not fix this machine, but it's a, it's a gamble for me. I'm, I'm willing to throw that 20 bucks at this because this thing's working. It's worth a lot more. So yeah, I'm going to do that because this one looks like it should work. I'm not an arcade guy at all, but you know, this, these were the first two that I put in the truck. These two here, because they, they, well, I didn't know either one was working. She pointed at this one, said it was playing, and I just threw it in there. And this one was right next to it, and it looked, looked like it was in moderately decent condition. Uh, so, anyway, so those are those. Uh, this one, I failed. My bit broke before I got in, and I, it got rounded out. I couldn't use the screwdriver, so I'm going to have to go get another bit to get in this one. By the way, I took the, the, uh, door off the back of this coined it up from the inside and this thing plays uh i think the up and down didn't seem like it was working on this joystick and i didn't play a two player so i don't know if that joystick was working the rest of the buttons seem like they're working so it plays it's got sound the monitor's a little offset needs to scooch over but you know it's somebody wants this game it'd be pretty easy to uh tune it up clean it up make it play pretty good the monitor seems like it's it's bright i guess the colors are all there so Anyway, I got the uh, glass in open, and you've heard the term mouse house. Well, this is a mouse compound. I mean, they've been having big parties in here, yeah. Uh, very industrious. It appears to be all here. I mean, you got the monitor, you got the chassis, you've got the board, you got the transformer, the isolation transformer, the speaker, you got all the controls, so I think this thing is all here. I uh, uh, probably need to get the mouse sucker in. Oh yeah, it's deep. It's like, yeah, that's not, that's, that's rat, that's not mouse. That's, that will not come out of a mouse, that come out of a rat. <laughs> uh, that's like three inches deep. Shoot. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. But I think it's complete. It's dirty, the whole thing. But uh, it clean up. I think I'll get the mouse sucker on this one at some point and clean it up. But anyway, this is what I've got from yesterday. I thank Jesse for helping me out because it was a back-breaking day. Uh, if anybody, any of this stuff is, you're dying for it, or any of those uh, metal tins or anything uh just give me a holler probably if you want to know what the price is for something i'm not real interested in like doing internet internet sales and stuff just just come on by and uh and uh we can work something out probably uh i probably not real interested in selling some of these pins the the mr miss pac-man i'll probably sell that one pretty easy space invaders that'd be a great for somebody to do a play field swap i looked cpr uh, they have a brand new play field they make, and this cabinet's pretty decent on there. The, the MP board's probably bad, or some a couple of these were missing. I don't know. Uh, but the cabinet's pretty good. The play field's all there. It just uh, needs a swap because there's no paint. Uh, I think I saw somebody on eBay was selling the, the, the overlays, if you wanted to do that. It's a lot less work. And they're only 200 bucks. The uh, new play field's 1,050, I think, what CPR gets for them. Plus, you gotta ship it. It's another, closer to another 100, another 50 anyway. But anyway, if any of this stuff struck your fancy, uh, come on by and uh, maybe we can work something out. Otherwise, at least most of these arcades are probably gonna go to the auction. Anyway, 
And if I figure out, figure out, if I can get this thing to work over here with the new power supply, maybe I'll post something on that because that would be pretty cool. I'm almost tempted to pull one of them out from one of these other games. I probably got another power supply sitting in one of these things that's not being used. Uh, probably look around and find one. Anyway, hope you liked the video. If you do, click like and subscribe. Till next time, cheers.